What is 6 times 7? Very easy to do, 42. How did you do it? Probably this is hardwired into your brain that 6 times 7 is 42. We have been repeating this again and again our entire life. And also it's not that difficult too. But suppose for a moment you forget what is 6 times 7. Then what will you do? It's again very simple. You might add 6, 7 times or 7, 6 times. There are like many different ways to do it. But have you ever tried to use your fingers to calculate times tables? Yes, in this video we are going to do exactly that. We are going to use our fingers to calculate time tables from 6 to 10. I know it does not sound like a big deal, everybody knows 6 to 10 times table but this is really fun. And it will be really helpful for those young students who have difficulty in memorizing these times tables. And also on the internet there are many videos explaining this trick but I didn't found any which explains why this trick works. So in this video I will first explain what that trick is and then I will explain how and why it works. So let's begin. Hello Genesis. So the trick is very simple. You just have to place your hands like this face down. Now imagine numbers from 6 to 10 like this. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's something like this. So suppose you want to multiply 6 times 9 on your hand. So here's how you will do it. Which finger is 6? So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This finger is 6. And which finger is 9? So 6, 7, 8, 9. This finger is 9. So when you need to multiply 6 times 9, you will do a motion like this. 6 times 9. Okay. Now it's very simple. See, for the tens digit, you just have to add these fingers. So how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 times 10, 50. Now for the ones digit, you just have to multiply these left fingers. So it's 4 times 1, 4. So the answer is 50 plus 4, 54. This is as simple as that. Now let's try the one I asked you at the start of the video. 7 times 6. So which finger is 7? This one. And which finger is 6? This one. So just do this motion. Now how many fingers are there? 1, 2, 3. So 30 plus 3 times 4, 12. So 30 plus 12 is 42. That is the answer. So this trick works for any times table from 6 to 10. So now let's try to learn why this trick works. Suppose the two numbers we are trying to multiply are A and B. To demonstrate it, let's take the same example as 7 times 6. Suppose your A number is 7. So when we are taking in 7, we are doing this motion, 7 times 6, okay? So 7 is becoming 2, right? So what we are here doing is we are subtracting 5 from 7. So it is basically A minus 5. And the similar thing we are doing in here. When we are taking 6, we are converting it into a 1. So what we are doing in here is 6 minus 5, which is 1. So it is basically B minus 5. Then what we are doing is we are adding those two, right? We are counting this. So we are adding A minus 5 plus B minus 5. And then we are adding in a zero there. So it's basically this equation. So now in the second step, see what we are doing. When we are taking in a 7, we are converting it into a 3 because we are doing this 3 times 4. So we are converting it into a 3. So what we are doing in here is that we are subtracting 7 from 10. So it's basically 10 minus A. 6 has become 4. So it's basically 10 minus 6, 10 minus B. And then we are multiplying both of these. So 10 minus A multiply by 10 minus B. And after that, we are just adding these two equations. And if we add these two equations, what is left is A into B. And that is how we are able to multiply A into B using our fingers. So now this A and B are not limited from 6 to 10. These could be anything. But we can only do it from 6 to 10 because we have only 5 fingers each hand. If I had like more fingers here, I could do bigger multiplications using this method. 
So what we are able to do in here is that we are able to quickly represent and solve this equation on our hand by doing this motion. And this can only work for numbers from 6 to 10 because of the 5 fingers we have. And also there are many other ways with which you can do complex calculations using your fingers which is called fingers mathematics or cheese and bob that you can learn in this video the addition part. So I hope you had fun learning this really cool trick. Thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.